Okay, so dad was born on January 21st, 1978. Now, I was not there. You know, we didn't know each other then. <laughs> but from what I have heard, the stories from dad and his mom and dad, Nana and Papa, is that they, there was like so much snow. I don't know if it was a blizzard or if it was just like a snowstorm, but the paramedics came to the bottom of the hill and then they couldn't drive up because they thought they would get stuck. So Nana and Papa had to like walk down this snowy hill to get to the ambulance to go to the hospital. So something kind of crazy about my dad and it was actually really sad because when he was born, he was crying, he couldn't see, he was barely breathing. Okay, so when dad was one, um, he did something that was really crazy, but he told his first joke. Most one-year-olds can't even speak, but your father, he had a whole lineup of jokes that was making everybody crack up. That's how we all knew he was. So when your dad was in elementary school, he was very unpopular. Nobody liked him and he was fat. In the summertime, he would go to the pool that was in his apartment building and all the other kids that lived in the building, um, a lot of them went to his school too. So um, when he would go in, all the other kids would get out of the pool. One time, he pooped in the pool. Um, so, <clears throat> at school, when your dad was in PE, they would have to, like, you know, do exercises like push-ups and sit-ups and like run laps and your dad <laughs> was pretty slow and so he wasn't able to do all the laps in the time that they had so he would have to go back after school to finish the laps <laughs>
one one year um, I don't know how old he was but he had like a, a crush on a girl um, but nobody liked him <laughs> So it was Valentine's and he was like, okay, I'm going to make, make her a gift. And he, he, he clipped his toenails and put them in a box and wrapped it up for her as a gift because he thought that she would enjoy that. But what ended up happening is that when he gave it to her, she screamed, went to the office, called her mom to get picked up, and had dad suspended for three days because of that. Oof. <laughs> when dad was like a teen, he looked like an emo hedgehog. When he was younger, he always did drugs and, you know, was smoking. And he was just, he was just very something as a kid. So um, I was late for a meeting and I ran into this elevator and it got stuck and I was with this woman and we just kind of hooked up. Well, I was doing uh, a show in Hollywood, a comedy show, and my buddy who worked with her, brought her and a bunch of other people from his work to see the show. And after the show, she came up to me and said, you're really funny. <laughs> I didn't know it was a big setup anyway for us to meet. And we went out, had a couple drinks, and uh, I got her number. You look like an accountant in the Bahamas. It was too hot for pants. Uh, well, it was a very nice wedding. It was a lot nicer than I ever expected my wedding to be. It was like at a hotel, a Marriott, really nice one down in uh, Orange County at Newport Beach. And we had a lot of people and it was outside and it was really, really nice that Uncle Chris married us, and it was all around awesome. So, uh, for our wedding, we got married on November 18th, 2007, 
and it was on a Sunday and our ceremony was at 3 p.m. at the Newport Beach Marriott. So our ceremony was outside and then we moved inside after the cocktail hour for our reception. And my favorite part was the chocolate fondue where uh, you could dip marshmallows and pretzels and fruit. But anyway, this was on a Sunday and then the week in between uh, our wedding and when we left for our honeymoon was Thanksgiving week. So we didn't want to go on our honeymoon during Thanksgiving because it was busy in Maui. So we left after Thanksgiving and then we flew to Maui and it was beautiful. We stayed at the Sheraton, um, which is right at Black Rock, um, which you've been to Dylan, where like the cliff divers go. Um, and we did so many fun things and ate lots of food, yummy drinks, pool. It was amazing. I was the first child of mom and dad. I always got the attention until when Emma came. Then I had an event. No. Think of when we were together Like when you said you felt so happy you could die Four. Okay. Three. I, 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 I,